Managing multiple passions and interests becomes so much more easier. We learn how to cater lifestyle around it. Hi, name's Anissa. Welcome back to my channel. If you're like me, you probably have a million passions and interests. People get exhausted trying to figure me out and I just let them. And if that sounds like you today, then this video is for you. Today we're gonna talk about how to manage your passions and interests without burning out and also without feeling like you're falling behind as well too. Without further ado, let's get right into today's video. Being multifaceted, you have to deal with decision paralysis. Sometimes you have to deal with feeling like your energy is spread across too thin or also that fear of feeling like you're not really living out your fullest potential in one specific area. And there's all these notions of like jack of all trades as a master of none and all that kind of stuff. But being multifaceted myself, I definitely struggled with just the pressure of, of trying to hone in on one thing. But over time of attempting to do that, it really felt inauthentic to myself. So the first thing that I really had to overcome to get through that was to change my perspective. Changing my perspective has helped me just in every area of my life, I feel like, but definitely when it comes to just appreciating and seeing something that should be celebrated and it should be seen as more of a gift that we're able to exist in so many different spaces and to be able to operate and have all these different skill sets is honestly a blessing. Like not everyone is able to do that. So I think just changing that my perspective on it to realizing that like this is actually a blessing and to see it as such has really definitely helped me and it really helped me get to the next step of figuring out, okay, how can I live a more fulfilling life with being the way that I am? The next thing you're gonna do to manage your multiple interests and passions is to identify your priorities. I feel like when it comes to having different passions, I think just understanding where your energy levels are and figuring out how you can implement certain parts of yourself, learn certain things throughout certain parts of the year. Take account of where you are in your life and assess whether you have the energy to pick up certain hobbies or certain passions and hone in on that. And also just understand that all of your interests and passions don't need the same amount of attention as certain ones, or just they don't need equal amount of attention. Like sometimes there are seasons for our passions to really be front and center and other seasons to where other passions are front and center. So. And I mentioned it before in my other videos as well too with my summer video and my fall video. Like when it comes to the seasons, like really pay attention to just how you feel energetically as well too to really figure out how you want to move forward when it comes to certain things because if you take account of each season and kind of play by that, it's a lot easier to figure out what hobbies you want to focus on when it comes to certain parts of the year. For example, like we're in fall right now. So a lot of my hobbies consist of just like learning and growing. So it's like I'm reading a lot more. I'm doing more like arts and crafts projects i'm focusing more on my youtube channel but you know in the past season which was summer my main hobby was traveling i was going out more and i was you know seeing the world and like traveling again so every season has its purpose i feel like so once you really understand what season that you're in and how you want to like play into which interest or passion you want to focus on during that season it's going to be very beneficial for you as well to be able to manage and also understand that like you don't have to stick to one thing if you don't feel called to at the moment it's really important to remain flexible and also to rotate your passions and interests depending on where you're at so also it's kind of like an intuitive thing to like know yourself and feel where you're at again and just like pay attention to that and then follow up with whatever that you need in that moment the next thing that you're gonna do to manage your multiple interests and passions is to understand what lifestyle that you want to live right so this is like a really really big big point because i feel like a lot of people want to be certain things but they don't really go into deep but to figure out okay why do you want x y and z so for example for me like my biggest why's in life is that i love my freedom and my time like i love being able to go out whenever i need to go out and i love being able to just travel the world so for me when it came to finding a job or after leaving my teaching job i knew that i am someone who works best independently like i'm not really someone who can work in an environment that's really hands on with other people because I'm an introvert. My social battery gets drained really, really quickly. So for me, I knew going into my next role that I wanted to have a job that was work from home because I know that I'm also someone who's self-disciplined. So like when it comes to getting work done, I know I'm gonna be able to do it, but also remote because I don't want to physically have to show up to an office somewhere or I don't want to be like micromanaged or glued to a, a certain area or whatever. Like I wanted the flexibility to be able to just work from my computer and just go wherever I want. So when I came to like me finding a job, that was a really important thing for me to find something that allowed that flexibility and allowed that freedom for me, right? So that's an example of how I like took my time back and put it back into me. So just figuring out how you want to live your day-to-day -day life, like what career can evoke the feelings and emotions that you want to have when it comes to doing that specific role does that make sense so like if you're someone who wants a job that's more creative or if you want to be you know either famous 
or well known so it's like if you want to be famous like are you okay with giving up your privacy and giving a certain way of life for being a famous actor actress or whatever and if that's not it but you still want to act there's other ways that you can act and fulfill that need and dream that you have within yourself without having to sacrifice your privacy just get very detailed about how you want to feel in your everyday life like i said and cater your career and your hobbies to it so like if time is a big thing to you, find a good job that allows you to have the time to pour into your other hobbies. Whatever the case may be, you want to find something that's going to allow you to have that time. I have the flexibility to create my own schedule around my work to where I'm able to also pour into my content creation. I'm able to be consistent on YouTube and edit my YouTube videos because I picked a job that allowed me the time to be able to do that. So figure out how you want your downtime to look like. Figure out how you want your career to look like. Figure out how you want every single asset of your life to look like and see how you can take your different passions and interests and fill it into those areas. The next thing to do to manage your passions is to leverage your passions. So this is kind of similar to my last point as well too of like figuring out how you can tie your passions and your interest and make it coexist within each other. So for me like I am a content creator but I also love traveling, I also love dancing, I also love modeling and whatnot. But photography can still be intertwined within those things, right? So like I can start a dance channel if I wanted to. I can start document my travels on YouTube. So it's like I'm getting best of both worlds to where I'm able to travel but I'm also able to film it and edit it and document it to where I'm also getting my love for just making film and making videos throughout that as well too. Like if you're someone who's into fitness, you can always create a fitness YouTube channel to where you create YouTube videos but you don't really have to be one-on-one -on -one with different people. So if you're someone who is an artist but you also like baking as well too, you can also work on creating a really unique dessert piece that looks very artistic but it's actually edible. Just figure out what hobbies can coexist or intertwine with one another. Also going to be a really great way to manage your passions as well too. The next thing to do to manage your multiple passions is to make your quarterly and yearly intentions. I feel like it's really easy to say that you want to learn a new language, you want to learn how to play guitar, you want to learn how to do different things, but if you're not really putting it to paper then it's kind of like you're just going off of how you feel, if that makes sense. So it's like really taking the time to plan out your passions and what you want to do. Just pretty much just writing out what you want to do. So if you're like, okay, quarter one, I want to focus on my art, you know, taking those 12 weeks to just really hone in on your craft and hone in on your art and actually reverse engineer your overall goal into your, your weekly planning. So that way, you know, once a week, you're gonna spend like at least one hour working on your art, right? When it comes to being intentional, it's all about really just putting things down in a planner and becoming organized about it. When you actually put it to paper and write it down, it means you're actually putting the plan to motion. It'd be there to remind you of your overall intention for the year, which is to invest more into your your overall passions and your hobbies. You get to see the entire picture out in front of you when it comes to just like your calendar, for example. Uh, you get to see like, okay, I spent once a week working on this certain thing and just also try just tracking your progress as well too, like tracking your progress to see how you were from the beginning versus like how you were at the end of the quarter or the end of the year will also be proof to yourself of like, okay, I really did invest so much time and energy into this thing and I did get better at this particular passion of mine. The next thing to do is to let go of perfectionism. This is really hitting home for me. I think most multifaceted people want to be, you know, the best at certain things. But when it comes to being multifaceted, because your energy is so spread across everywhere, it's kind of hard to really maintain that level. Not impossible, but you know, it is harder to maintain that. I think it's important to realize that when it comes to being multifaceted, it's really best to choose progress over perfection. As long as you're getting better at your craft every single day, at least 1% each day, then you're winning, you're doing enough. And the goal isn't to be the best at everything, but it's to grow and also just evolve on your journey. You're able to learn so much more about yourself in the process. You're able to really hone in on these skills that you never know that you'll need in the future. When you try different things, you really just learn more about yourself in general and you're able to, like I said, apply those skills in different avenues and different seasons of your life. So give yourself grace and also understand that it's a blessing to be able to do all that we can do and don't take anything for granted. And also just, like I said, you never know when you'll need that skill that you've learned a certain amount of time on in the future. But again, this all kind of amounts to just being a well-rounded individual it's capable of doing just so many amazing things in life because of all the different paths that you've taken. Being skilled in certain areas, I feel like there's so many benefits to it. I feel like for one, like you have plenty of survival skills that you probably don't even know that you have because, you know, it's somewhere shoved in your brain deep down. But again, just learning the perspective of be multifaceted and the blessings that it comes with. Understanding that you're doing enough just as you are. Knowing that always choosing just progress over perfection is gonna be key to so many things in life and 
it's just so much fun just being able to tap into different parts of yourself that you never knew existed but uh, yeah that is it for today's video that's all my tips for managing multiple interests and passions let me know in the comments what you're passionate about and how you're currently managing it but that is it for today's video don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys for another video next week bye